Happy Tuesday everyone, it's Carla here and I have a few things that I wanted to share with you. Um, I was kind of rushing around this evening because I had thought I'd have an extra day to get some of these things done for my daughter. But they're calling for a big snowstorm to hit tomorrow mid-morning and afternoon to the evening with possible up to 10 to 12 inches of snow. They've already canceled school for tomorrow and there's not anything on the ground here. It's all around us, um, towards, you know, South Carolina and to the coast of North Carolina, but where I am, nothing. So, I thought I'd have tomorrow to get this done, so I've kind of altered a few of the things that I was going to do and made them a little more simplistic and just wanted to make this video because it's pushing 8 o'clock and I want to run down to our campus, which I'm lucky she's, um, right here, um, Sorry, you guys. You hear my cat down there playing with the bags. Um, but I wanted to run them down to our campus tonight. Plus, I want to take her the sled. Um, last time it snowed on campus, uh, the kids were scrambling trying to go sleigh riding because the campus has a few hills. So we have some sleds here, so I'm going to take those down and then some um, outdoor um, stuff that she might need. Because I think they might have already canceled our classes for tomorrow, too. I'm not sure. I don't... When I was in college, University of Maryland didn't cancel, not one time, the four years I was there. And here it's like, closed, and not even any snow. So, I've rambled enough, but um, one thing that I make a lot of are candy pretzels of all different kinds. And this is just something, since I know she has a ton of sorority sisters and some fraternity um, brothers that she likes to give things out. I was going to stamp these all cute with little valentines, but... Because I'm short on time, I made these today, um, wrapped them, just used some pink tool, and just left this blank with, um, I punched it out with a scallop punch, and just tied it on with some uh, baker's twine. So I made, I think, eight or nine of these, and that she'll be able to just write, um, Happy Valentine's Day, or whatever. I was going to make them a lot cuter. But since I'm running out of time and I don't want to be up to midnight and running down um, later tonight. And I do not want to travel with the kids. I do have a big 12-passenger van. Um, but, you know, you just never know. I don't, want to, I don't want to take an unnecessary trip. So, made a bunch of these. They're all pretty much the same. They're just uh, the candy melt with, um, you know, Valentine sprinkles that I picked up. I don't even know if I showed them well. And they're just the pretzel rods. It's real cheap. It's real easy. And it makes a nice, um, you know, a nice little treat for her to hand out to whoever she wants. So these are like little extras that I didn't tell her that I was going to make. Um, the other thing that I want to show, if you guys remember, I had picked these up at the dollar store. And I have 12 of them. And I was going to try to get back to make more, but I never made it. Again, I thought I had tonight to do a little more running around. Um, but I really want to get these to her um, in case, you know, it just gets cuckoo crazy around here. Um, I'll most likely have my kids tomorrow regardless. Um, so, we'll see. Um, but these were the little um, treat bags that I'd gotten from the Dollar Tree. And I was going to, you know, do them up a lot cuter and stuff. And you know, crunch time. I just stamped an image. I was going to color them up, but as time was ticking, I didn't. So they're all a little different. They're not colored. She does have some um, markers or colored pencils in her dorm room. If she chooses to color them, it's not going to be that hard because these, these are pretty sturdy. And I just filled them with little treat bags full of lots of candies. So they'll be fairly... I mean, this on its in itself is cute, but then when you just put it in the bag... It just makes it that much cuter. And again, I was going to doll them up and cutesy them up. And um, crunch time, this is what they're getting. So, I didn't, I usually sign everything. But what I decided to do is so that she can, um, you know, sign them. She can write to they're from. I punched out these little extra hearts. And again, I'm going to give her some glue dots. And she can just add that to the front. Or she can add it to the back, whichever she chooses. So I made enough for her to do these and for the other projects that I'm going to show. So I did um, them all pretty much kind of the same. I did a couple with this image. 
And this is an old Stampin' Up! Uh, set that I've had for years. I just basically pulled out all of my stamps. There was another one. There's a couple like that. And I just cut them in different shapes because I had planned to do them a lot cuter. But, you know, and then I got to thinking, they're college kids. They're going to tear into it. They're not going to, you know, they're just like preschoolers. They're not going to care. They just want the candy inside. So, and see this one, I was going to color it really cute. But, that's cute enough. This one says, wishing a perfect friend a perfect day. And then, of course, when she adds the heart, I'll say from her. This one says, hop, hopping you'll be mine. Like, hoping you'll be mine. So I did a couple of those. And I just love this. That's a paper doll stamp um, that I picked up um, last summer. So that's those. And then the last thing that I wanted to show were these little balsa boxes that we all picked up last year. I did one of these and they're filled with candy. Um, can open it up. It's filled with lots of little candies and stuff. And the extra hearts, she can um, adhere to that. I packed her some glue dots and I think she has the craft box that I put together for her for when she works on things for her sisters. And this is just a bunch of uh, different flowers from Michael's, I want to scrap bling, and I can't remember the paper, um, you know, that I had in my stash. Um, so there's that one. And then here's this one. They're very similar. I think this is some of my mind's eye paper, an older stack that I had. And I just, you know, glitzed it up. Lots of stickles and bling. So there's that one. And then I only had time to make one of these. I was going to try to make a couple for her special girlfriends, but this is the only one that I had time to do. If I have time and she really needs it, I can get it to her for the weekend. Um, but this is just a bunch of different flowers. Some recollection flowers, a little cameo button that I had, some pearls. I made some little loops, um, some little the, um, recollect. Well, these aren't recollection flowers. These are from the dollar fifty spot flowers. These are either the dollar fifty or the recollections flowers and then there's some of that heart lace that I picked up from Joann's and then these little glitter hearts are from the Dollar Tree there with that table scatter and there's just some um, pattern paper I think that's my, my, my mind's eye as well and then this piece that I glued down is um, from one of the die cut packages that I got last year so it's a good way to use up a lot of your odds and end pieces doing little projects like this. And then the last thing I wanted to share with you is this cute little mailbox. I picked this up from Target and I have another one of these that I could do. And I just ran out of time. Um, I put a bunch of lace and then some pom-pom trim from the $1.50 spot. Some bling trim and just a bunch of different flowers. Here's one of the little rosette hearts from the Dollar Tree. And these flowers are from the Michaels dollar bins from like last year or so. Bunch of want to scrap bling. And I just thought this was really, really cute. Um, and then she'll be able to put one of those little hearts on the back if she wants to sign it. And I, it just opens up and inside is a bunch of yummy candies for her. Oh, this camera. I apologize. But I was showing the insides, a bunch of candies. This one I made a little more special. She can give to, you know, one of her... Uh, closer friends are her roommate Chesney so I'm not sure so there's a couple of um, special ones and then you know everything else so I did hope to make two more of these if she really loves them I will crank them out and probably can get them to her actually on Friday if not these will do and I'll just hold, hold on to these um, and I'm hoping I wanted to get to Target tonight to see if they had any more of these because I love them because they're plastic and uh, they're just really, really cute. So um, they were a lot of fun to work with and, uh, you know, doll up. And this is something that the girls can keep in their dorm room, these little things. So that's what I had to share. I'm going to go get everything um, packed up and take it down to her to campus and um, hopefully get back at a decent hour. So, still crossing my fingers for lots of snow, but it's not hitting till mid-morning, mid-after, early afternoon, so, but they're still staying anywhere from 8 to 10 or 12 inches, so, 
I'm hoping that we get some snow and we can get out and play. So, hope everyone's having a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.